If you're a Google Photos user, have you ever tried to download all of your photos from Google Photos? It is not very straightforward if you go into your Google Photos account and look for a little download button. I'm Allison Lee, and I run an academy called The Memory Curator, which helps busy people like you organize their photos so that they can tell their family story. Because let's face it, we all have so many digital photos these days that it is really, really easy to let them get out of control and take over all of your devices. And pretty soon you're at a point where you just can't find anything because you've got such a mess on your hands. So what I'm going to show you today is actually the secret to downloading all of your photos from Google Photos if you would like to do that. So come with me. So here we are in Google Photos. Now, if you don't know how to get to Google Photos, you just would go and you would type in Google Photos and it'll come up here and you just click on it. Okay. So now, of course, to have Google Photos, you have to have a Gmail account and a Google account. But I assume that if you're watching this, you actually do have Google Photos. So then you just go to Google Photos. Now you'll be inside my Google Photos here and you can see, you know, I have lots of photos in here. And what we want to do is we want to try to Google all of our photos out of Google Photos. Now you'll see in Google Photos that there is no download all button. You can search around, but there's no download all button. So my options here are to select a certain number of photos. So I can select them by just ticking them. And then I can come over and I can choose to download. Now that's just gonna download the ones that I have selected, all right? The other thing that you can do if you want to download photos from Google Photos is that you can download by album. So if you've made some albums, you can come over to your Google Photos album and you can download all out of the album. Now, however, if you wanted to download all your photos out of Google Photos at one time, you cannot do it through Google Photos. So I'm going to show you the secret to downloading from Google Photos. And what you need to do is you actually need to leave Google Photos, go to something called Google Takeout. So let's go to Google Takeout. And I'm just going to type that in my search bar. Okay, so if you Google Google Takeout, you want to actually go to Google Takeout. And that is takeout.google.com. So go to Google Takeout. And you're going to come to this page where it says Google Takeout. All right. And we are going to request a copy of your data back from Google. So the first thing you want to do is deselect all because we don't want everything back. This is everything that you can get back from Google. What we do want to get back is to scroll down to Google Photos and click Google Photos. What we can do here is that you can request specific photos for your export. So if you would like to request things back, the particular thing here is you can request back by year. So that's particularly helpful if you want to do it in small lots, you can request one year at a time, or you can select all. Okay. So I think what most people usually want to do is just get everything back at once. You click OK. All right, so we're going to do everything in Google Photos, multiple formats, and you scroll down to the bottom and you go to next step. You choose the destination. Most of you will want to get a download link by email. You can add your photos to a different service if you would like to, but most of the time we just want to get them downloaded out of Google Photos. So send download link by email zip file, and then file size, you can just decide based on how fast your internet speed is. So if you have a slower internet speed, you might want to keep it at two gigabytes. If you can download a lot at one time, you can up it so that you'll basically get less zip files. And a zip file is like a Ziploc bag. What Google will do, it'll put all your photos in a Ziploc bag. And then when the Ziploc bag gets to two gigabytes, it will start another Ziploc bag. So it'll be will basically be um, full. So depending on how much you can download at one time, depending on your internet speed, you'll want to decide what type of um, Ziploc bag you want. Do you want a small Ziploc bag that's not going to take very long to download? Do you want a large Ziploc bag, which may take a little bit longer? So you'll get back these zip files. We'll just leave it at two gigabyte right now. And you can create export. Now, when you click create export, what it's going to do is Google's going to work behind the scenes. It'll show you a um, export progress, and then you'll get an email to your Gmail account, whatever you signed in with to Google Takeout, saying that your data is ready. And then what you need to do is you need to download the zip files from Google. Um, it'll give you a link to go to a page where you can download your files. And then you, know, you download the files that go into your download folders, and then you'll need to unzip each of those um, Ziploc bags, basically, digital Ziploc bags. 
and inside will be all of your photos. Now, Google may send them back to you slightly organized, unorganized, or totally randomly. They don't always come back in any sort of order that you added them to Google. So take note of that. And that's how you download from Google Takeout. Now that you know how to do it, why would you actually want to download all your photos from Google Photos? I mean, isn't that a great place to back things up? Yes, it is a good place to back things up, especially if you're backing up from your phone, from your camera roll on your phone, and you want them to go automatically to someplace on the cloud where they can be backed up. Now, the reason you would want to download all your photos from Google Photos is if you are one of those people who have photos scattered all over the place, like on all different devices, laptops, old hard drives, computer, phone, CDs, USBs, everywhere, and you really want to make an organized master family photo collection. And by that, I mean all your photos in one place, organized into a simple system where you can find things either by date or by event um, or by keyword or by tag, but everything in one place and remove all those pesky duplicates. So that is something that you can't do very well in a cloud service, which is why you would need to download all your photos from Google Photos and get them all in the same place as all your photos from your computer and from your hard drive and all that stuff. You just put them all in one place, you get them organized, and then if you want to then back them up to Google Photos again or Dropbox or something like that, you can. So that's the number one reason that you'd want to get your photos out of Google Photos so you can consolidate your collection, get rid of the duplicates, get it organized, and have everything in one place. And that's exactly what I teach students in my class how to do. So now if you want to get started in this journey, the first thing that you need to do is download the free Find Your Photos workbook. You can find the link below this video. Download that, make a simple list of where all your photos are, and start tackling it. And that's how you get started. And then after that, I'd be happy to help you figure out how to sort out your entire photo mess and get it organized. So until next time, good luck, and let me know if you try it out. Thanks. Bye.